So the book is obviously very different from the show. Um, when adapting it, um, you know, how much did you look into it, and, and why did you decide to make the changes that you did? Well, the book was written in the 80s during the Cold War era, and the premise was that a nuclear catastrophe has wiped out the entire world, and there's one ship left. Which, and it was a much more existential book about survivors, and we realized we need to a, update that a, a sort of Cold War nuclear t catastrophe between Russia and America didn't feel very timely, even though the Russians are being difficult for us now. We're still not going to get into a nuclear battle with them. Um, and the idea of, of, of creating a pandemic as being the thing that had decimated the world felt much more timely, much more 2014, and in a way much more scary. Um, and the other thing that it provided, which was which is the key to the show, is it can be fixed. Um, it's a problem that can be solved, and that's what gives the show its urgency, that's what gives the show a ticking clock, that's what gives the characters their mission, and it also means, well, if there's an antidote, then bad guys want it. Um, and so it really opened up the whole concept when we were able to you know, kind of figure out how to do that. Um, I have a question. So I know you guys get to go to some like really cool locations, like you had that great episode of Guantanamo Bay. Are you going to be going? Are we going to see like all around the world, like the destruction that the disease has caused? Well, that's the other fun thing about the show, and it's part of the scope and the bigness of it is that it's a it's a global concept. I mean, it's about the U.S. Navy, but they're they're in the world. So you know, last week they went to Nicaragua to try to find monkeys, and in other episodes they're going to go to other places and meet. Um, you know, meet characters from different countries and and um, and pick up people along the way from different countries that are important. So, um, I mean, that's that's part of the fun of the show and why I knew when we came up with the idea. I, I this can go seven years, nine years, eleven years because saving the world is going to be a big long-term project. Uh, how easy or difficult was the casting process? Um, well, it's always one that you have to treat delicately and you try to be as smart as you can about it. And then you also need a lot of luck in terms of how the chemistry comes together and the people pull together. But, um, you know, obviously the most, you know, important, you know, part was finding that captain is going to anchor the show. And Eric Dane was someone when I looked at the list and the casting director gives you a list of 100 guys. And I kind of pointed to him right, right away and said, you know, he's... He's our guy, and uh, we were lucky enough to get him, and then you know surround him with uh, with everyone else. And obviously, you know that scientist character has to be you know really credible. Um, you know to find you know a woman who's going to have the strength and the gravitas and the intelligence, and also doesn't hurt if she's gorgeous. Um, and uh, you know to find that actress that's going to make that feel believable. It is also, you know, super hard to do. So we were very lucky with Eric and Rona, and then the rest of everyone just really filled it out. Okay, now I know in the book, at, at some point, they sort of deal with the concept of having to repopulate the planet. Yes. Um, is that something that you think you guys might delve into? I, I think it's it's a very cool idea, and we always said, you know, that's it's it's for down the line. I mean, it's it's a sort of season four, season five idea, God willing. Yeah. Um, if you were to go into that, what do you think some of the biggest difficulties would be? trying to deal with that issue in terms of uh, creatively you mean yeah. well the difficulties are also the things that make it fun you know dealing with the sexual politics of what it would be to try to repopulate the, the world you know um, is that that's the challenge is always also what makes it the most fun and the most exciting so